Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Fiesta Active X walk around video. But before we get stuck into the walk around video, if you want to see more of our content, can I recommend clicking on that subscribe button and that way you'll be seeing a lot more of us. So this here is a magnetic grey Ford Fiesta Active X MHEV. So that is a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So what that means for you is you just simply jump in it, drive it like any other vehicle. So there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge, anything like that. And you get some very good MPG out the back of it. And that is partly thanks to the 1 litre EcoBoost engine producing 125 PS of power. Transmitted through a 7 speed automatic gearbox. This Fiesta is registered on a 72 registration, meaning we're taking forward warranty all the way to September 2025. The vehicle has only done 1307 miles, incredibly low mileage, got some fantastic spec and it's in marvellous condition. So without further ado, let me arrive at the near side front. So this stage of the video, I present to you this beautiful remote central locking key. Obviously it's not going to focus. For, oh, there we go. So that is the remote central locking. If I click the unlock button, that will in turn wake up the daytime running lamps. So daytime running lamps, they're not like a strobe light upgrade. I apologise for the flashing. That is simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. So in real life, they are a solid LED pattern that give other road users the ultimate visibility, meaning you're always going to be seen. So inside those beautiful headlights are the Ford LED headlights. Can you see that there? Ford LED. So some fantastic headlights on this vehicle. Moving our way down the bumper, we can see we have front parking sensors which trail all along that front lip of the bumper. This has the beautiful active grille there. So it's like a gloss black grille. Looks very nice indeed. Just below the number plate, that little dully bit, is a front-facing radar responsible for some of the, the driver assistance packs, such as pre-collision assist. I shall cover that in its entirety once I'm inside the vehicle. Cruising all the way around now to these beautiful machine-cut alloys, which are 18 inches in diameter. Machine-cut alloys are the silver shiny face at the front with the gloss black just behind. So the gloss black is a real theme on this lovely Active Fiesta. It gives that two-way colourway effect. So down there also is silver painted brake calipers and the tyres fitted to this vehicle are the Continental... What are they? Premium Contact 6s. Just down there. Nice low profile tyres. So yeah, excuse me for not being able to read that. But again, 1300 miles. So these tyres are in marvellous condition. Drawing the attention just up to the windscreen, we have a few sensors to discuss. That one there is a light sensor, so as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. Let me just get a bit more square onto it, otherwise all you will see is a reflection of a tree. So that low one at the bottom there is a traffic speed sign recognition camera. This can be used in coordination with the intelligent speed limiter. If not, it will display the traffic speed sign up on your digital driver display. That looks amazing. To the top left is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. And top right, a light sensor for the auto high beam. Further north, we have matte black painted roof rails. So if a roof box is your cup of tea, that's easily achievable. Back down to the body of this active, we're going to lock the vehicle on the remote central locking. I'm going to take the camera to half zoom and just pop that straight in my skyrocket. From here, we have the four lines on the door handle. So one tap behind will unlock the vehicle. I'm sorry about any wind you may be hearing. And tap there, it will then lock the vehicle once more. So a lovely system if you've got your hands full of shopping, children, or anything in between. So now we can take you back to normal camera and show you around the lovely body of this vehicle. So, so as you can see, we have rear privacy glass helping that two-way color scheme. So again, starting nice and acute to the body, get nice and tight to it. I'm just gonna gently rock the camera all the way down the offside. Well, hopefully that shows just how wonderful all these body panels are. So that's the offside, and then we're just not forgetting the offside rear wheel. We can then have a good look at that once again. So the active actually comes with a raised ride height, so we're 26 mil higher at the rear and 9 mil higher at the front aiding that active lifestyle. So coming around the back there, rear parking sensors also feature. So front and rear parking sensors complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera. Hold on look, Alan's just got me coffee cup. He's a good lad. 
there we go it's got coffee on its way as well so everybody's happy so the left hand side of this lovely fiesta we're going to give it the exact same treatment so starting nice and high just rocking the camera along the body hopefully giving you a good idea of the condition of this vehicle but this magnetic grey is a lovely colour so now the near side rear and give you a good look at that like so now we can follow all the way down to the near side front giving you a good look at that and I'm there as well to show you that other front tyre how much tread that's got on it wonderful again it's only like 1307 miles so those tyres are like new now at the rear of the vehicle we're going to open up the boot and have a look inside double unlock function on the key there Again, I'm trying my very best to shelter my microphone from the wind. I don't know how much effect that's having. I'm soon to find out when I watch this back in a minute. So, uh, yeah, I apologise in advance for any wind noise you might be hearing. So this is inside this lovely boot of this Fiesta, a staple of the British motor industry for many a year, and that's because the versatility. Not everybody needs a gigantic boot, but this volume is perfect enough for a couple of suitcases, a couple of dogs, or just your everyday items underneath the boot liner here is a space saver spare wheel with all the relevant tools and jacks supplied underneath to change that on the side of the road so if a spare wheel was one of your requirements that box is ticked right so that's inside the boot let's have a look inside so unlocking the car because we use the keyless entry and that will time out after about 20 seconds so I have to use the key to get back in so starting on the door cards we have a nice hardware in plastic uh, this will be nice and easy to clean wipe clean so if you've got kids with sticky fingers or anything like that it's nice and easy to clean again again we have four uh, electric windows so you get the corresponding switch on every door card spinning the camera around now starting at the seats we've got the beautiful part leather part cloth interior so this is the active styling of interior so you get that nice blue stitching all the way through and again it's gonna be nice and comfortable on those longer journeys but how gorgeous is that blue stitching i think it really does set apart the interior that can also continues on the floor mats as well so this has the official fitted floor mats on there with the blue stitching so it all corresponds to each, each other if you do carry those smaller humans of this world you may require an iso fixing seat so you get one on the near side rear or left hand rear and one again on the right hand rear and again loads of legroom as well proper size humans can fit in there so now opening up the driver's door card driver's door card slightly different to the the rear because you've got this soft touch synthetic leather on the armrest section there so it's going to be nice and comfortable when you're residing your arm on the longer cruises this is the switches or these are the switches even for all four electric windows and electric mirror function is found just ahead of it with the child lock for the rear windows on there as well interior locking is found just left of the door handle spinning that camera around for the last time to show you some seats again we have that beautiful synthetic leather sway down the lower back and base part as you can see the edges at the lower base part are perforated just gonna be nice and breathable and again that lovely suede with the blue stitching I'm just gonna jump inside the vehicle now you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone so please just bear with me for a moment So again, the exact mileage there is 1307. And look at this beautiful digital driver display. So just quickly, to complement the keyless entry, we have an engine start stop button. So foot on the brake, one click of that button, and that will gain power to this beautiful digital driver display. I'm just gonna put my seat back a little bit, otherwise it might be a bit close. Okay, so to begin the interior tour, I'm gonna to be showing you around this beautiful digital driver display. I'm going to be controlling that using the return, the OK, arrows up and down and the menu button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. In addition, there's also a mode button just down here that I'll be controlling the modes with. So again, this is normal drive mode, so you get greeted with this lovely blue screen. On the left hand side is your coolant temperature sensor, we have a digital speedo. At the bottom you have the odometer, so the mileage, the gear select indicator, the ambient air temperature and a digital readout for the fuel gauge with the classic bar graph to the furthest right. 
and RPM features also, and that is the revolutions per minute of the engine or crankshaft, also known as the output power of the engine. Now in the middle section here, this is what I can control using the arrows. We have various different screens we can look at. Wherever it's your fuel consumption, we have the hybrid gauge there as well, live tire pressures, again back to fuel economy. Clicking the menu button will expand it so then we can select the screens you'd like to see. Whether that's your calm screen, fuel economy, we have two chip computers there, traffic signs, hybrid gauges, loads of good stuff. Uh, and yeah, going down once, that will take you into audio. So this is your radio. So once you have your presets in, it'll be nice and easy to change the uh, radio station around. And then in addition, below that, we have your navigation. So once you have your things such as previous destinations, your favorites and points of interest, or even your home programmed into the sync navigation, simply click on those and it'll be nice and easy to program the nav. So the little party piece as well, this beautiful Fiesta comes with selectable drive modes. That includes a normal, an eco, a sport, a slippery, a trial, a trail, and back to normal. So any mode you put it in, let's go to sport. Any mode you go into, it's gonna change the aesthetics of the screen. So as you see in sport, we go to this lovely gray red screen there, giving it that sportier intent. Um, again, I don't think I mentioned at the bottom there is your traffic speed sign. So there's a 50 just before coming into Perkins, and that's what it's currently reading, okay. So that's the screen. Now let's show you around the steering wheel. So we've done the arrows just here. Below we have a voice command, a pickup, a decline, and previous and next song function. The left hand side is where you'll find the cruise control buttons. So we have the cancel, we have your set speed plus and minus, the standby button top right, and your speed limiter featured bottom right. And just below that we have a volume minus, a volume plus, and also a mute button. So continuing the video now into the central part of this vehicle, starting off with cubby holes. Oh look, there's a USB-A there. Nice divot for the cable to come through as well. And you can place your phone in the cup holders or in the little cubby hole there. We do get another USB-A port to the right hand side of the gear selector. And we do have a 12 volt socket to the left hand side. But not missing these lovely cluster of buttons down here. We have automated stop start, parking sensors on and off. This is self park assist, touch control on and off and that's the mode button to control the, the selectable drive modes. Just quickly, the controls for the seven speed automatic gearbox, foot on the brake, and you have the unlock tab at the bottom there, or the back even, and you can put it down to the relevant drive position. For example, reverse, that'll wake up the high definition reversing camera with the proximity sensors for the front and rear parking sensors to the top right of the screen. This will give you an intermittent beat with increasing frequency as you get closer to the object in question. I'm going to pop the vehicle back into park and apply the handbrake once more so I don't forget. So this now, hold on, hold your horses. These are the controls for the heating, ventilation and air conditioning. Fan speed to the left hand side, coffee to the right hand side. And this active also has the winter pack. So that includes heated front seats both sides, electronically heated windscreen and a heated steering wheel. Perfect for these colder months. I'm going to pause the video there for a moment of appreciation to my mate Adam Player. Thank you very much for the coffee, young man. Lovely. He's always got the kettle on, so if you want to come see him and talk about a car, he makes a lovely cup. Right, so this now is the Sync module. So Sync 3.4, they call it, and we know that because of the dark blue band at the bottom of the screen. Divides beautifully into audio, bottom left, and then we have various sources, such as AM, uh, sorry, apologies, FM, JB, and Bluetooth audio. Next, we're into phone connectivity. This is where you can add your phone via Bluetooth. Next up is navigation. So it's a lovely navigation system to use. I use all the time in my, in my focus, and it's never let me down. For example, you'd like to come to Perkins, click the search box. When the keyboard appears, simply pop in Charlie Mike 77 6 Sierra Alpha. And as you can see, it's nice and responsive. Click the search bar box, and that will navigate your route straight here to Perkins Garages. Again, if you were to click that as a favourite, then you could easily navigate yourself through the dash in front of you. So next, let's go over to settings and driver assistance. In driver assistance, this is the wonderful driver assistance pack that I mentioned beforehand. That includes a speed limiter, lane keeping system, traffic sign recognition, rear view camera, wrong way alert, and driver alert. I must apologise, I think I made a bit of a mistake on my specification earlier. I think I mentioned pre-collision assist outside the front there. Um, again, I was wrong in saying that, so again, there's a lot of specs remembering my little head. 
Uh, so uh, yeah, so apologies, it doesn't have pre-collision assist, but we do have the intelligent speed limiter, we have the lane keeping system there as well. So yeah, some really nice driver assistance settings. But hopefully I was right in saying, in the vehicle settings just here, we can then prove if I'm right, because in wipers, you're gonna see rain sensing wipers. And with lighting, we're gonna see auto high beam, and we also know the traffic cameras there because I can see it in front of me there. So I was right about that, guys. But as you can see, we have some lovely vehicle settings to adjust. Uh, coming out there once more, going to settings quickly, we have the 4Pass Connect app. So download that, download that to your mobile telephone device and uh, there's a, a pair of your phone with your vehicle and there's some features on there that you can take advantage of. I won't get too into detail about it, but if you want any more information, give us a call. Next up, we're going to talk about your CarPlay. So this is a fully supportive system of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So whichever software you have on your phone, plug it in using those USB ports that I previously showed you, and it will mirror your phone onto this screen here. So effectively, your iPhone will be displayed on your screen. Many advantages of that. The first one is your voice assistant. So in a world where you cannot touch your mobile phone whilst you're driving and still have things to do, you can click on your voice command button on the steering wheel It'll activate Siri on an iPhone or Google Assistant on an Android. And what that will do, you can pretty much ask it to do whatever you like. So, Siri, what time does the cricket start tomorrow morning? Siri, play Elton John. Siri, take me to Perkins Garages. But it's all commanded by your voice. In addition to that, there is applications on your phone that are also compatible on this screen, such as your music, your Spotify, your audio books, your podcasts, even navigation. So if you were to turn around to me and say, oh, Dan, I don't like the Ford navigation, for whatever reason. I like using Apple Maps. Well, that's compatible on the screen there. Not a problem. Waze, that's the new one. Everyone loves Waze. Can't get enough of it. That is also compatible on this screen. I think it's because it shows you where the speed cameras are. But, yeah, everyone loves it. So that is the beautiful sync module in all of its glory. Before I go, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the self park assist button so you can see i've clicked the button and this car will quite literally park itself so it uses the front and rear parking sensors to build up an image of a space and if it thinks it can get in there it'll quite literally park itself for you and that includes a parallel park in and then you've got a bay park in or perpendicular park or a parallel park out and as you can see you can use the indicators to dictate which side of the road you require parking on so that is in a nutshell this beautiful Ford Fiesta Active X. Hopefully I've explained a few things to you. And if you are interested in this vehicle or any other vehicle here at Perkins and want to come have a look, give us a call. 01376 550899. If you like this video, like this video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be seeing a lot more of you in the future. Goodbye for now.